Hey guys, I'm Meta Gross Freak, and with Pokemon X and Y coming out in October of this year, you're probably wondering, what am I going to play until then? Um, if you really want to look for a good game that's cheap, go no further than Spectrobes. Now, I mean, although you guys are, pr although, you know, you're probably thinking, uh, it's a Disney interactive game, it's cheap and it's fun. In fact, I just got a copy at GameStop for only three bucks. Spectrobes is a series of games for the Nintendo DS and the Wii, starting with Spectrobes, the sequel, Beyond the Portals, and the trequel, Spectrobes Origins. Now, you'll, now, I've only played the first game, however, I'm already addicted to the series, and from what the gameplay looks like, it looks like the, two, the second and third are just as good, so you could really play any game. Gameplay involves Rollin and Gina, two members of the Nana Hero uh, Space Patrol, who travel around the galaxy solving, you know, issues like space police. Until one day they come across a man with some strange fossils. Or they meet a man who gives them a strange fossils he calls Spectrobes, which are creatures of the light. Uh, Spectrobes have the ability to fight these creatures you see in here, called the Crawl. The Crawl are kind of these amoeba-like creatures, but... Um, you know, later in the game, they absorb you know, plant life and rocks and even machinery to use against you in their attempt at world conquest, or universal conquest. Your only hope is to use the spectrobes. And, you know, you, you can use the spectrobes to, you know, dig through the ground to find fossils of other spectrobes, or even rare minerals like diamonds and special minerals to increase the health, attack, and defense of others. Um, with... Let's see, was 22 different types of spectrobes. You could, you know, you, so you can dig and find all these different characters and create an awesome team of your own custom design. Yeah, after you find the spectrobe, you awaken it using the voice module, uh, using the mic on your DS or even in your Wii. You keep it in a PC where you train it and raise it until it evolves into a powerful form for beating opponents. Wait a second. R reviving fossils, training, evolving? That sounds a little bit like Pokemon, right? Well, although it's true that you go digging for fossils and minerals which you use to revive and train the creatures, th you have to keep in mind, although that sounds a lot like what you do in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, th the first Spectrobes game actually came out in 2007, the same year as Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl. And although it's true that Diamond, that uh, Pokemon has, you know, many times more characters, Spectrobes is a far more complex game. Let me explain. Spectrobes start off as child, as in their child form, like this, like the character at the top, Spyco. They're able to look for minerals and for fossils, but other than that, they don't really serve much of a purpose. After they've reached a certain condition, such as reaching a certain level, having a high enough stat, or even just, you know, being in your PC for a certain amount of time, like some of the, like some like the uh, the bugs or the birds, they evolve into their adult form, like the one on the bottom left, Spyco. After hard work and determination, and feeding them lots of minerals and going through some combat practice, you can evolve them into their adult form, like the bottom right, Spikenor. Um, not only that, but if you have Poke, if you, uh, unlike in Pokemon where only the Pokemon in battle do something. Your spectrobes in your team also help. Although you only have two spectrobes out at a battle at a time, the other four members of your team also provide support. For example, with Spikenor, uh, as you with Spikenor, if you have if you have him in battle, he's a major offensive support uh, offensive uh, line. However, if you have him as one of the main four in support, he provides whatever two. Uh, or in battle with a major offensive buff, basically doubling their damage. There are also, uh, after the child, adult, and evolved spectrobes, there's also ultimate spectrobes that come in the form of geos, which are these crystals. For example, this one, Fulvina, which is a thunder geo, which is kind of like a squid that shoots lightning. Uh, unlike the other spectrobes, which you know, you can use and control and battle and switch at any time. The geos are rare crystals that can only be used every now and then and do massive damage after charging for what seems to be an impos impossibly long amount of time. There's three different attributes for them. There's Corona, 
which is kind of your fire attribute, like such as Comodoros on the left and Inca Flare on the right. You then have uh, you then have Flash, which is kind of your water, ice, like oceanic element, uh, such as Shaco Blood on the left and Harumaiti on the right. And then you have Aurora, which is kind of your nature element. Um, many of the characters in in uh, Aurora have kind of a a plant or even kind of like a a nature look to them. However, a lot of them are also very much uh, wind-based, such as Kugaster, basically a flying bazooka on the top left, and uh, and some and uh, Gorilla Dragos, the mighty serpent on the bottom. But you know, to mention the the nature one, we have like the kind of tree egg ball uh, Segulara on the top on the top right. And you know, they all have different abilities. Corona tends to have more fire, like fire, uh, like lava, punchy kind of moves. You know, the, uh, the Flash have more blade moves and water-related moves. And most of the moves for uh, Aurora tend to be more flying like and like electric kind of moves. Um... When you have Spectrobes, you can bring them into battle where it's you and your two Spectrobes against three Crawl at a time, at least in the first two games. And you, they can work together to perform powerful combo attacks and take out Crawl. In the Wii version, uh, Spectrobes Origins, you only have one Spectrobe. However, the Spectrobes are far more powerful, and you only take on one Crawl at a time. Now, although you can probably say that Spectrobes is just a rip-off of Pokemon or Digimon, I'd like to point out that you're wrong. Considering that Spectrobes is a combination of mining for minerals, it's an RPG where you, you know, basically train Rollin or Gina, and it's also a creature ra a creature farm game where, you know, you raise your own Spectrobes, and it has combat that is not like the Pokemon game at all. It's, it's a, you're moving around and doing special abilities and moves and doing tactics, it's really a completely different franchise. And in a way, Spectrobes is kind of like four games in one. So to all you people who say that Spectrobes is just a Pokemon ripoff, I'm sorry, but you're wrong. So I hope that uh, you might take an interest in Spectrobes. The, uh, I don't know about the other two games, but the first two games are only, I the first, the first game is only $3, so I would definitely recommend picking up a copy because I've, because I used to have a copy of Spectrobes, however, I sold it away and I missed it, and after getting a new copy, I was so glad because it's just an awesome game. So, you know, thanks for watching. I'm Metagross Freak, and until next time, thanks for watching.